I like to try to understand things by hand first. They're really, really rough sketches, but there's that connection, I feel, that you know when you're drawing something, that there's this intuitive and innate understanding of it before it enters the computer. Oftentimes, we don't have the this sort of record, whereas in the hand sketch, you're always sort of, you know, you have these sort of scribble lines and sort of accidental things that come up. For this piece at NTC, I decided to call the piece FaceTime, just to sort of have fun with the title. But the concept is relevant in that. I think this space also lends to people just sort of being transient and I think that that's sort of a, it's indicative of our daily lives right now of how you know people are talking on our phones and, and, and sort of over the internet and things and there isn't a lot of opportunity for face-to-face -face interaction. When we looked at patterning and perforations, we tried to create, again, draw more from the context and we looked at different textures of water and how those could potentially translate into interesting patterns. And then we used, for the actual shape of the perforations itself, we looked at a bunch of different geometries, but we settled on dot dash patterns that are sort of reminiscent of Morse code and communication. The beauty of the material Core 10 is that what it creates is it creates a rust layer on the exterior of the steel that basically seals it. So it allows the rust, I mean, people think rust is sort of deterioration and sort of erasing, but this actually, the rust creates a, a protective layer on the exterior of the steel. And that color changes over time. So you might initially see some lighter, brighter orange hues, and then over time it turns more into a sort of reddish brown, almost purple. So it's sort of this living, living piece. The patina allows it to have, you know, a little bit more unpredictable outcomes and colors over time. And I think that's another thing that we wanted to do. So it's not like you're visiting the same piece every time, but you're seeing the gradual progression of the piece. It's never a real straight trajectory, but I was, I guess, fortunate to always be encouraged to explore the things that I enjoyed. And as a young kid, I, did, I spent a lot of time in my room drawing and making things and working with my hands. And I knew that I wanted to, to have some kind of creative outlet. 